Hi, welcome to Sully's Show and Tell for the month of March. We have a few items that we are going to share with you today. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching. Uh, we are joined by our young adult librarian, Jacob, Mr. Jacob, and myself, Miss Maria. So we're just going to get right to it. And I'm going to share my screen here and we'll make sure that uh, I pick the right one. Here we go. So, okay, so I uh, just wanted to let everyone know uh, we are open to the public. Uh, we have our um, new hours. It's Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We do ask that when you come into the library that you wear a mask over your mouth and nose at all times. Uh, and if you don't have a mask, no worries, we can give you one. Uh, if you have any questions or want to call in and see if we have a book on the shelf or anything at all, just give us a call during open hours. Our number is 428-8208. We are also on Facebook and you can find us at Sully Branch Library. Uh, so the first book, well, I, I should say books, is that a single book, but the first few books we're going to be talking about uh, Mr. Jacob is going to um, share with us. Well, hello there. Now, chances are, uh, during this pandemic, hopefully, if you haven't been living under a rock, you've heard a little bit about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, the classic role-playing game played normally on tabletops and game stores, but now extremely popular online over chat programs like Discord. Well, I am pleased to announce to everyone that we have essentially a full collection of the D&D 5th edition books. Dungeons and Dragons, for those of you who don't know, is a role-playing game played in the imagination and usually on a grid with small figures and a set of dice. 20-sided die, 12-sided die, 6-sided die, 4-sided die, a whole mishmash of them. Uh, you essentially fashion yourself as a hero, starting from nothing and becoming an epic adventurer. You can journey through medieval castles, the darkest of dungeons, or a far future world beyond our imaginations. The sky is the limit with Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I should tell you that to check out these books, you will have to come physically to the library. You're not, they're not available to be put on hold. Um, I'll be very honest, they are quite expensive, so we're a bit protective of them. Uh, but you will be able to check them out for three weeks at a time. Uh, we're reordering a few more now, so uh, we'll have some extras available. And you just need to ask the staff where they are, and we can point them out to you. Uh, it's excellent for all ages. Uh, you can tailor adventures for kids, you know, who are younger than 10, all the way up to your grandparents. It's a, it's a pretty easy game to pick up and learn, and it's a great way to spend some time with your friends or your family if you can get them into it. Uh, and we've got all the books that you're going to need to create your own characters and for the Dungeon Master to create their own adventures. And I heartily recommend it. I play it at least twice a week, and it's a great amount of fun. And it's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a great way just to stay connected with a lot of the people who you might not have been able to see during this pandemic. So, Mr. Jacob, would, would the beginner be able to pick up one of these books and start playing right away, or are these more for the advanced player? Uh, well, we have a little bit of everything for everyone. If you're a new player, you're going to want to pick up the player's handbook that contains the basic rules. We also have expansions, uh, books that add to content found in the player's handbook. And we also have books that have pre-made adventures. So all the monsters and the events and the story are all pre-written for you. So if you don't feel very comfortable making up your own story or you're looking for ideas for your own story, 
you can check out one of those books like Ghosts of Salt Marsh or Icewind Dale. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for sharing these with us. I know I used to uh, have some Dungeons and Dragons programs with some of the kids when they would come in and they loved it. So I'm so excited that you talked about this today to share it with, with more people. I, I, I do miss that very much. We are having some fun adventures before the <laughs> pandemic hit. Oh, and we will get back to them. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Soon enough. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep. Uh, so I, um, you know, it's, it's with the recent St. Patrick's holiday, uh, just a few days ago, it just made me think of the best-selling classic, Angela's Ashes, a memoir by Frank McCourt. Frank McCourt was born to Irish immigrants in Brooklyn, New York on August 19, 1930. The family fell in hard times during the Great Depression and they had to move back to Ireland in the fall of 1934. So the author was only four years old when they moved back. Uh, the family faces one hardship after the other due to the father's alcoholism and the extreme poverty faced by so many during the Depression and World War II eras. In 1996, the author published this award-winning book uh, that tells the story of his childhood struggles. He and his family faces unimaginable tragedies, but the author was able to find humor and hope in many of the challenges he faced. If you like emotional stories that show the best and worst of people, this is definitely a story you will want to read. Uh, this book was also made into a movie, so it's a perfect book for a book club or movie night evening. So it's, it's, you can read the book and watch the movie. Uh, I highly recommend this book. This is one of those books that's going to rip your heart in half, though, isn't it? Yeah. It, 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 well, you will... You will You'll shed tears and laughter. I mean, it, there's there's emotions in this book are just all over. But yeah, it's there's some very, very difficult moments in, in this story. Well, well, you know, Miss Maria, one of the ways that I judge a great book is if the author's words alone can affect great emotion in the reader. And then this is a, truly a great book. Uh, yeah, it's and I agree with you. I mean, that's what what. It, digging into a book is all about, you know, just having the same experiences as the author. And uh, not everybody can do that, but Frank McCourt certainly was able to capture that in this story. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop screen share and then we will end our evening, but let's see, and go up here. Okay, so I just wanna say thank you to everyone for for signing in or watching our video. Uh, we will have another show and tell program next month. Happy reading. Happy reading, everyone.